The maker scene really is a celebration of creativity and innovation, and it's spilling out of people's garages and out into mainstream society. The easiest thing to do is take it apart, put it back together again, and see if it still runs. And if it does, well then take it apart again and see if you can improve on it. The typical maker is someone who I would definitely say is just curious about the world around them and wants to know how things work. One of the slogans of the whole maker movement is if you can't open it, you don't own it. People want to get their hands dirty again. People want to like feel the, the grime and the earth and the shavings and the metal and the dust and people are ready for it. There's an interest it's building now because kids get bored after a while, you know? That's they sit at home and play those games and they see us doing all sorts of really strange things, you know? The beauty of the internet and the burgeoning maker culture is that there's now a community of people that can all kind of get under one roof at RoboGames or Maker Faire and compare notes about what they're doing because it blows people's minds. You've got things like the Maker Faire in San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, the Maker Faire is now going from city to city. They're in Detroit, they're in New York. There is as many girls as there is guys and a lot of them are highly qualified to do Better than me, that's for sure. There are a lot of women in the maker scene. It's not an exclusionary thing. It's a, well, can you pull your weight? Can you, are you curious about this? Do you have good ideas? <laughs> but the, and besides that, what can you do without women? You know, I mean, if it was nothing but guys, well, you wouldn't have a crowd. New York is one of the major centers of gravity for the hackerspace community. New York, it's hard to keep my finger on the pulse of that city. It's why we're doing Red Bull Creation in New York. And over there you've got folks like Madagascar, you've got the Third Ward, you've got Disorient. And a lot of this is Brooklyn-centric. You know, Manhattan's Manhattan, they're doing their thing on the other side of the river there. Out in Brooklyn, it's just, it's popping off. That's definitely the neighborhood to be in in terms of creativity. I think that the momentum behind the maker movement is truly accelerating uh, in both the number of people that are doing it and its cultural impact. They're just trying to make something cool. Or they might be working on the next invention that's going to make them rich, or they might save the world. You never know what's going to happen. It's good to see another generation come up and, like, and get off those computer games for five minutes and say, wow, look at that. Man, is that weird? <laughs>